Joey Jordison, a co-founder and longtime drummer of the iconic heavy metal band Slipknot, died Monday according to a statement from his family. A cause of death was not revealed, but the statement said he died in his sleep. He was 46. We are heartbroken to share the news that Joey Jordison, prolific drummer, musician and artist passed away peacefully in his sleep on July 26, 2021. The statement read, Joey's death has left us with empty hearts and feelings of indescribable sorrow. To those that knew Joey, understood his quick wit, his gentle personality, giant heart and his love for all things family and music. The Jordis and family plans to hold a private funeral service. Born in Des Moines, Iowa, Jordison was one of the founding members of Slipknot, which is known for its aggressive music style and signature scary masks. He played with the band as its drummer since its formation in 1995 alongside percussionist Sean Crayon and bassist Paul Gray but left the group in December 2013. Slipknot's Corey Taylor talks first solo album CMFT. Years later, Jordison revealed he was suffering from a neurological disorder around the time of his departure from the band. Towards the end of my career in Slipknot, I got really, really sick with a horrible disease called transverse myelitis. I lost my legs, he told the audience at the Metal Hammer Golden Gods Awards in 2016. I couldn't play anymore. It was a form of multiple sclerosis, which I don't wish on my worst enemy. I got myself back up, and I got myself in the gym and I got myself back in, expletive, therapy, 2, expletive, beat this, expletive. After leaving Slipknot, Jordis informed the band Scar the Martyr and also played guitar for the metal band Murder Dolls. In 2016, he drummed in supergroup Metal Synsonome, which plays an extreme version of heavy metal known as Black and Death Metal.